Hello, it's News Channel 12, and I am Alex Gold. And I'm Colin Gouba. And we have some breaking news for you. Hitler marched into Czechoslovakia and took over, but before that, here's some background information. Czechoslovakia territory was a part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and was made after World War I. Hitler threatened to go to war unless he got Sudetenland. So to discuss this, Italy, Germany, France, and Britain had the Four Powers meeting. The Four Powers meeting made the Munich Agreement. Now we will transfer over to Taisei for our on-scene report. Thanks, Alex. So I'm here with Edward Beans, <laughs> the head of Czechoslovakia State. Hello, Edward. So, What is the Munich Agreement? The Munich Agreement transferred Studentland to Germany, but made them not take over any more land. What do you think of this? I do not think this is a wise and thoughtful decision. What did Neville Chamberlain say about this? Neville Chamberlain said that Britain will go to war about this issue. What will the Nazi army do? The Nazi army will take over because Sudetenland has all military defenses. Now for a commercial break. Hello my fellow German citizens, especially out there to you youth. If you have blue eyes, blonde hair, please come join the, Ger the Hitler Youth. You see here at the Hitler Youth we teach how to properly march, how to build fires, and a safe living environment for all you people that don't really have a home. We also know how to teach you your Jew tingling senses. You see on the Jew in the streets, you'll know how to point him out right away. You! World War II. There were lots of Jews. One time, there was a man with a plan, and they called him Hitler! Da 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 da. Well, this man with the plan, you see, he had a mustache and slicked hair. He was a good looking guy. He hated his father, though. And he walked into Germany and he said, see those Jews? They're the problem for this economy. In inflation, we got lots of money. Racks on racks, stacks on stacks, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, this man with the plan, he said, Hitler's youth, we're here to save the day. Lots of Jewish people, they come and going astray. We send them off to camps on our little caboose. We shove them in tiny doors and lock them with a noose. Uh, ooh, ooh, we hate Jews. Ooh, ooh, we hate Jews. Ooh, ooh. And so you see these little tiny Jewish people, uh, they come into our land and they uh, they mess up our economy because you know what? They're Jews. That's what they do. Ooh, we hate Jews. Ooh. And I hate Jewish people just as much as you all should. That's why we went to war. Well, not really, but there were other reasons too. But it's the Jews' fault. That's why we're in this little crisis. You see, Germany, we're the men. The men of the men, the supreme race. And the Jewish. Don't even get me started on the Jews. I hate Jews. Ooh, ooh. I hate Jews. Ooh, ooh. More breaking news. Neville Chamberlain will not act from the information he got from Hugh Christie. But before that, here's some background information. Hugh Christie is a spy working for the British Army. He was educated in Germany and used to be a pilot for the Royal Flying Corps in World War I. Christie met Hermann Goring, who knows Erhard Milch. Milch managed arm armament production for the German army. Because of this, he got information from many important people like Karl Gording or Wolfgang Pultsitz. Now we will transfer over to Taisei, who will be on scene with Christie. Thanks, Colin. I'm on scene with Hugh Christie. Hello, Hugh. What's up? I'm Hugh. What kind of info did you get? I told Novell that Germany is making weapons to take over the Rhineland and Luswaf. Also, I told him that Germany will try and take over Austria and Czechoslovakia. What did Neville do? Novell will do nothing. He believes that appeasing Hitler is the very best way to stop the war. What do you think Neville should do? I do not know. I just get the information. Thank you, Hugh. You're welcome.
This is News Channel 12, and have a good night, Portland. Hello, this is News Channel 12, and I'm Colin Guha. And I am Alex Goldman, and we have some breaking <laughs> Colin, you're an idiot. Hello, this is News Channel 12. I'm Colin Guha. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, but goes, I'm, and I'm, I'm the Colin table. Guha, and we have I'm some breaking table. news for you. Hello, it's News Channel 12, and I am Alex Goldman. And I'm Colin Guha. And we have... <laughs> okay, check... Czechoslo Czechoslovakia. There is an area called Sudetenland, and it is between Czechoslovakia and Germany. The people living in the region want to join the Nazis and uh, hit Hitler's army. Okay, good. Is it going? Mm hmm. Thanks, Alex. I'm here with Edward Bean from. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alex. I'm here with Edward Beans, who's. Head of state, Czech. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. I'm here with Edward Bean, who's the head of state for Czechoslovakia. Hi, Alex. Uh, Edward. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. I'm here with Edward Bean, who's head of state for Czechoslovakia. Hi, Edward. <laughs> met. Okay. Christy met Herman Goring, who knows a hard milch. <laughs> she met Herman Goring, who knows a hard milch. <laughs> Milk. Christy met Herman Goring, who knows Eckhard. <laughs> now we will transfer over to Taise. <laughs> now we will transfer over to Taise, who will be. <laughs> now we will transfer over. Tran Go. Now we, now we will. <laughs>